Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my girlfriend, Jay. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I am staying in England for a while. I'm not gonna tell you guys how long. You don't need to know. I don't... You don't need to know. So this is the Cerise doll I got for Jay. She likes it. I do. I always wanted this doll. So. <laughs> yes, it's it's her now. This is this is Jay. Yeah, this is gonna be the me doll. If you guys ever think of Jay, think of think of this. Yeah, that's what Jay looks like. This is me. Yeah. Today we're gonna be doing a joint doll review because I brought these two with me from the U.S. because they're not available in England. I think that one might be. Core Refresh Cleo might be available here. I haven't, obviously, I've not seen one in person before. Yeah, she might. She might be here. I mean, when we go to Smith's, we'll see. We're gonna go to Smith's, by the way. That makes sense. I haven't been to Smith's in years. It's gonna be a very fun video to make. <laughs> we're gonna be making lots of videos together, but for now, we're going to start by reviewing Fearbook Toralei. Because if I don't unbox this doll soon, I think I will go insane. And Jay is going to join me for the reviewing. Hooray. <laughs> Do you have scissors? Um, yeah, I'll go get them. Yeah, we gotta we gotta use that to cut these open. Let's start by just talking about her box first. I'll go get them while you talk about okay, I guess I'm gonna talk about this by myself. So the Fear Book packaging has this cool like paper this cool page effect, and you've got sweet fangs here. And of course you've got her artwork. Her fave club is Monster Music. Her name's Torali, obviously, and she's from the Fear Book collection. And then we've got what she looks like in the box. She looks pretty cute, I would say. This is probably one of Torlai's strongest G3 dolls, other than his fits. His fits is really good. I like his fits Torlai a lot. Did you know that? So on the side of the box, it just says Monster High Fear Book. Pretty cute. And around the back, my Torlai does have a bit of a crushed box, just from the virtue of being shoved into my luggage while I was traveling on a plane. But we've got the Fear Book lineup, which includes Draculaura, Twyla, and Torlai. And of course, we've got her full artwork with the his fits in the background. This is a very pretty artwork. I like it a lot. And then we've got her after ghoul activity. Why did you join the Monster Music Club? There's no greater feeling than perfectly nailing a song. Because, you know, they always... I was going to make a pun of it. What do you think of the pun, Jay? What pun? Sorry, I just got here. Perfectly nailing a song. Oh, well, that's iconic Monster High puns. Exactly. Sorry, I'm Monster High is known for the puns. <laughs> no, you're doing great. <laughs> Yo, we got baby scissors. Let's go. All right. So the only place I need to cut so far is like here and here. And then I just lift this. Yeah. And then from here, I don't care if the box stays in good condition. I'm not taking this home with me. I'm just taking the doll home with me. You guys get to see how animalistically I unbox my dolls. What do you think, Jay? Am I normal? Um, that remains to be seen. <laughs> Look at this giant rip I created. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing a very good job as camera now. I mean, what are you filming? Are you filming me? Uh, the general vicinity <laughs> oh, she's so pretty hell yeah you did better with your camera this is only our first video together yeah i haven't done a video in years yeah did you guys know jay used to be a youtuber yeah i was also a doll youtuber yeah we'll have to talk about that someday i mean you don't have to expose your old channel name if you don't want to <laughs> maybe not <laughs> This thing's hollow, just like the His Fits guitars. But that's disappointing. Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised, because again, that's how the His Fits guitars were. I didn't know the His Fits guitars were like that. Oh. You did not see my review. No, I didn't see that one. Alright. We freed her. If you want, you could cut the scene here and we could get everything else out. Alright, so here is Torali, all freed from the box with all of her accessories. We'll talk about those first. For instance, this microphone is just a silver version of the Hisfits microphone. Uh, not much to talk about there. She's got the lyrics to Cool Cat, but there's no actual words on it. It just says by the Hisfits. That's sheet music. Not lyrics. I'm, see, this is why Jay's <laughs> here. Jay's here to help me not sound like an idiot. We've also got her fear book itself. And inside we have her artwork as well as an edited version of her with the Werecat twins and some close-ups of the twins. We've got the close-up of her tail, 
And that is her His Fits tambourine, because the His Fits tambourine has the gold accents and the one that this doll comes with does not. But they are a pretty similar color, just not the exact same shade of red. Yeah, the artwork in here is pretty cute, I would say. What do you think? I like it. I like it. I've never seen it before until today. Yeah, I think it was created just for this doll, so it is new artwork. That's good. She also comes with this extra jacket for the music club. Yeah, the Monster Music Club, as it's called. Around the back, it just kind of has some, like, cheetah print going on. Uh, the material is kind of like a satin for the sleeves, which I didn't expect. I thought it would be softer than that, but kind of hard. Oh, you yeah. You want to feel it? She's falling over again. Oh, yeah. Kind of hard, right? Yeah. All right, and here is the doll. Torlai is very pretty. I really like this doll, and I tried my best to pick one with a good face. When I went, the store had five, and this one had the most even face, in my opinion. Her nose looked good, her stripes looked good, her eyebrows. I really like her makeup. I really like how they kind of like bring a light green into her eyeshadow. It makes her stand out for sure. She's never used these makeup colors before. I like her earrings as well. For once, she has the same earrings on both sides. Usually they give her different ones on each side. I have multiple examples. Like here, she's got two studs and one hoop. And then here she's got a gold stud and on the other ear she's got a silver oh no they're both hoops why did i say stud am i smart um yeah thank you <laughs> <laughs> her guitar as i mentioned is hollow but it's got like cats printed on it it's oh good. my god yeah there's a, there's all cats Sorry, cat it, took me, it took me a second no i haven't seen anyone else point that out either that is really cute and it's got like purple um zebra print in the background and it's up here as well and she's got the little thingies up here. They're not painted, but they don't really need to be. That's fine. So she's got a silver kind of harness over her body, as well as a, like, belt with a fanny pack on it on her side. Her shirt has um, kind of raw edges to give it that, like, ripped up feel. And I feel like it's supposed to say something on it, but I can't make out what it is. So we might have to remove her guitar to see that. Okay, so it doesn't say anything, it just has like some scratches and like, kind of like, maybe it's supposed to look like bleached or something? I don't know what this look would be. Kind of like a distressed look to it. Yeah. But obviously it's not actually a distressed fabric, so this is just kind of like, artificially done. <laughs> also, her shoulder pads do get kind of squished in the box, so they're not perfect currently. Also, I like her bob. What do you think of the bob? I thought with the bob. Am we, I allowed to swear? Yeah. 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 I, I, I just remembered who I was talking to. <laughs> we fuck with the bob. So unlike Skultimate Secrets Torlai, this doll's uh, shorts actually do have a proper hole for her tail. So, <laughs> I just remember very odd details about every Torlai. Her boots are pretty cool, and like other Monster High dolls that they've been releasing currently, her fishnets only go to about here, and then they are unhemmed and do not cover her feet entirely. A lot of people have said this is because kids play with the dolls, but I feel like the fact that it's unhemmed is going to make it wear out quicker. Mm. Like, there's no hem around the edge. You can just see that's a raw, uncut, well, cut edge. <laughs> yeah, that's going to get ripped. Yeah, right? It's going to rip up if you take it off or, like, mess it up. Also, I just want to see if she'll stand on her own real quick. And she, in fact, does. I'm just very good at standing Torlai up on her own. She's got some pretty cute boots. To be honest, I would wear these myself. What do you think, Jay, as a certified goth girl? I like them. <laughs> Jay likes the spiky boots. That's good. Yeah, I'd wear those. They've kind of got, like, kind of like a texture going on at the front here. Looks like fur or something. Yeah, I think that's meant to be fur. And the soles of her shoes Ooh. have hearts. And they say... Um, did they say anything? Or is it just, like, a heart that's on fire? Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's meant to be fire. Oh, okay, so this is, probably isn't fur on the front of her boots. It's probably supposed to be fire. It looks more like fur. Yeah, if, it does. If they actually painted the details on the shoes. Yeah, see, Jay has good. the same opinion as me. We, they need to paint these things. See, because the mold is really good, but... Yeah, this is a gorgeous sculpt, but there's, like, hardly any detailing. They just have, like, buckles painted in. Like, come on, paint in the laces or something. And they could have painted the spikes to be silver as well. Yeah, right? Like, they could have done something. Like, I'm sure it would have been a lot of effort, but, I mean... They used to put in the effort for G1, why can't they put it in now? Yeah, so all in all, this is a absolutely gorgeous Torlai doll. Um, I love her, what do you think? I think she's pretty cool. 
yeah, this is just a really strong release for her. I'm really happy that G3's been using Torlai so much. Like, between the his fits, you know, we got her Skultimate Secrets and Neon Frights release. Oh, yeah, that's tall. And then we've got her basic, we've got her fear leading doll in the Ghoul Spirit pack. Like, I'm just happy that they've been using her a lot. And I think this doll is definitely the direction I want to see them go in with her. I really like her kind of edgy style. And I do like that this doll's not wearing pink. No shade to his fits Torlai, though. I still love this doll. I defend her with my life. So we decided to compare Torlai to her basic doll because of the bob. The fuck-ass bob, as Jay put it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Overall, I do see some similarities, like, both in the fact that they both wear a jacket and the red and black tiger print, kind of. Although this isn't really a tiger print. But still, red and black stripes. You know? The only difference is that here, the white is subbed out for yellow. Also, this is made of a pleather material. I'm not the biggest fan of this material because it does, you know, like, crack. <laughs> this material, unfortunately, is not made to last. But I do still like this doll a lot, and I'm thinking if I get a duplicate to keep in the box, that one will last. And I will definitely get a duplicate because I'm insane. Um, yeah, not really much else similar between them, to be honest. She should have had gloves. I think she should have gloves. Wouldn't that have been cool? Because they gave his fit store like gloves. I feel like I, I I could fuck her some gloves. Yeah, like some red gloves. I want her to have red gloves again. I miss it. I miss it so bad. She hasn't had red gloves since this doll, which was in 2011. 2012? Wait, really? She hasn't had red gloves since? Yeah, no, she hasn't had red gloves ever since. Just her first doll has red gloves. I don't have a lot of tall eye dolls, so I don't really... haven't noticed that. I'm insane, so I have. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think we're gonna call it there. We've gone over everything that we needed to. Did you have fun? Yeah, this is a dream come true. <laughs> yeah, Jay and I have known each other for a very long time. Also, it's kind of funny the heights we chose because I'm taller than Jay. Only by a little bit, we've realized. I'm still taller, and it means something. Yeah, take your badge of honor. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We will probably do another review of Cleo, and we're going to do a video going through Jay's Monster High collection. Yippee! It's going to be lots of fun, as you can see. They have Valentine and Wisp. Yeah pretty epic I would say. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and as always we hope to see you in our next one. Bye!